Hello ladies, today I'm going to share with you a never ending card. I made one in an earlier kit reveal, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to start with four sheets of cardstock, all measuring six by three. The next step is to go ahead and use your bone folder, and you're going to want to crease these at an inch and a half in on both sides. So go ahead and do that. An inch and a half in on each edge, and this is going to be on these short edges, as you can see. I'm sorry, I'm kind of off of the page here. But an inch and a half in on each edge of your cardstock. And again, now this is not something I made up. This is something I found on YouTube. I'm just sharing this with you so you can learn to make one as well. Now what you're going to do is use an adhesive, and you're going to want to put the adhesive an inch and a half square on the top corner of your cardstock and the bottom inch and a half of the cardstock. Okay, so you're going to do it on the bottom inch and a half corners and the top inch and a half corners only. Now you're going to get these two pieces lined up horizontally and at this point you have an inch and a half adhesive in the top corners and the bottom corners only. Now you're going to take the other two pieces of cardstock and you're going to put them vertically line up your edges get the other piece and you're going to line it up also vertically okay and you're going to push down on the corners so now you've only got the corners attached okay now you're going to fold open vertically both sides fold open vertically. Use your bone folder now. Flip it around, do the same on the other side. Okay, now you're going to flip open the tops. Okay, do the same thing. Flip open the tops. Use your bone folder again. Okay, you can flip it again. Now you're to the back. Don't need your bone folder, you're done. Flip it again, and you're back to the front. Okay, that's it. See, flip, you're in the middle. Flip, middle, flip, back. Okay, that's the back of it. Now we're ready to go ahead and start decorating the card. So for my card, I actually used a paper pack that we got from Swirly Camp. It's the Prima Pack Salvage District. And just going to quickly go through this here. I thought you needed to use the um, bone folder and actually put your folds in your papers, but I found out you don't need to do that. Uh, I did distress the edges. That makes it easier. So if your cuts aren't exactly straight, it does not matter. Did some edge distressing with the ink or two. So what I would do is just put the papers on uh, about a measure about a quarter of an inch in on the papers and then I would just use the bone folder after the papers were adhered and that worked just fine so you don't need to use the bone folder before you put the papers down so just continue decorating again I did edge distressing with the distress it all on all my pages and did some inking as well did some random stamping You do need to keep your embellishments pretty flat so the card will stay flat. I know that's hard for us to do, but not flat scrappers, but you kind of need to do that on here. Like I said, just when you're measuring your papers, about a quarter of an inch less than the actual cardstock will work just fine. 
use some pretty flat flowers, some bling, some Tim Holtz sayings on there, as well as some of the sayings at the back of the Salvage District paper pack. Then I used some twine and did a small banner on the front of the card. The front of the card also, I had found a feather die, so I did some feathers on the front of the card as well, as some 49th and Market flowers. Okay, I think I'm done. Flip, flip, flip. Okay, so here's the finished card. Here's the front. Got some Tim Holtz bling on there as well. Flip it open. Here's the middle section. Flip again. There's the second middle section. Flip again. And there's the back. And flip again and we're back to the front. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye-bye.